We will win this war. Rely on me.
help where I can.
everyone will die. No one will be left. But this isn't what we're fighting for, is it? Hmm. The dead make ideal soldiers. Good idea. Nothing bad has happened yet, right? You can still back out. Sure you can. And you will, won't you? Why do we need this darkness? Tell me! We don't need it to chop demons' horns off! is about to die. Shouldn't you? Behold, I overlay. Behold the death I saw. You see, Suchu? Shouldn't has no place here. I've waited for a very long time, but now the hour has come to turn my ideas into reality. I still have things to do in Canopris, but you must leave. Go to the old laboratory. I have a special task for you. The laboratory? I hate that foul place. But I dare not disobey you, my lady. Forgive me this little masquerade. I am Arilu Vorlesh, also known as the Architect of the World Wound. What are we meant to discuss with one of the key figures in our enemy's army, I wonder? Watch it! She's deadlier than a dozen demons. The betrayer of humanity. Her words are poison and lies. You've handled the power of the Sword of Valor well. Such artifacts are almost like living creatures, and they react to their own kind, shall we say. The Sword of Valor once belonged to a mere mortal who became a goddess. It seems to see something kindred in you. Touching you has left the sword irreversibly changed. Now it is your banner, not Iomide's. Although perhaps it will still stop the demons from teleporting to the city as before. Wherever you go, things change. Someone who lived dies, and someone who died is saved. Objects that were one thing become another. Why? Without realizing it, this mad girl just asked a very important question. But for now, I shall let you seek the answer yourself. The Yoniel you freed from the dungeon was merely a mask. Sometimes I like to wear the guise of my fallen enemies, to study them from the inside. The real Yoniel has been gone for a long time, but unfortunately for her, not permanently. Her lot is far more frightening than the one I showed you. 
Perhaps you will learn the truth one day, but for now, it isn't necessary. Would you speak to me if I came to you in my true form? Well, this will never happen again. I no longer need to hide my face. I'm creating something. Building. Studying how the land lies. Laying the foundation. I am called the Architect for a reason. I'm not asking you to trust me. That would be unforgivably stupid. But I suggest, just suggest, that you search, analyze, think. What happened in old Sarkoris? What is the world wound? What is happening to you? Search for your answers. And for now, farewell. Do not fear! Do not waver! Oxy! Yes! You've crossed the wrong mongrel! Retreat is not an option. A bright future awaits us. Together, we stand. It is no trouble. Kneel before me. Uh, uh. I'll cut you wide open. Surrender, or else! You won't survive me. Choose! 
the fray! <laughs> On my way. No reason to pause. <laughs> this is simple. Endure this! Make every strike count. No glory without risk! Press the attack! 
Retreat is not an option. You've crossed the wrong mamba. Into the fray! Kneel before me. Rely on me. this war. I will help where I can. I'll see what I can do. Trust me. The spirits guide me. Save the last one for me. Survive me. Always ready.
I'm gone. We will win this war. Lead on! I'll watch your back. Always ready. Bye. Together we stand. Rely on me. Retreat is not an option! The light! Take you! Yes. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Kneel before me. The Inheritor, guide my blade! You won't survive me.
This one's mine! No glory without risk! I'll cut you wide open! Endure this! A bright future awaits us. No reason to pause. Open your heart to me. The spirits guide me. I hope you appreciate this. At your discretion. Well? Careful now. Pleases you. We will win this war. It is no trouble. I heed the voice of the spirits. So it is restless. I wonder why. Together, we stand. On my way. Rely on me.
hurt my friends. Press the attack! Make every strike count. Retreat is not an option! Across the wrong mongrel.
Kneel before me. You are nothing before me. The Inheritor, guide my blade! Survive me. Press the attack. This spell works differently. Endure this! Retreat is not an option. A bright future awaits us. A 
I will help where I can. We will win this war. It's time to act. Together we stand. <laughs> this is simple. See what I can do. care of it. Rely on me. Should we proceed? What's on your mind? I wonder. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. Me. 
We should move. A bright future awaits us. Help where I can. No reason to pause. Lead on. Every strike count. Kneel before me. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. This one's mine!
No glory without risk! You won't survive me. Strike! the attack together we stand rely on me it is no trouble On my way. Close ranks. future awaits us <laughs> this is simple I'll see what I can do Always be ready for the worst.
It's time to act. I'm always ready. I will help where I can. Let's run, sweetie. Let's go. Why are you so slow? They're almost here. I'm not going anywhere. Don't you feel it? She's got that damn rag with her! I can't teleport! She's going to kill us. If she kills us, then so be it. But this is my city. And I will fight for it to the end. And you, my love, you will be with me to the end. Hello, Minago. Greetings, Mr. Misery Guts. It's us again. Of course. I regret nothing. And I'm ready to pay my dues. What about you? Are you ready to pay for everything you've done in the name of your pathetic queen? Not everyone here is fighting for Mendev and its queen, fallen paladin. When you crossed to the demon's side, you betrayed all mortal kind. And for that, you must pay. You have the audacity to ask me that? I fight on this side, because the other side didn't give me a chance! Yes, I made a terrible mistake, and Dresden fell to the demons. The Queen should have had me hanged! I deserved it! But she found a far worse punishment for me. False mercy. When she spared me that day, she said she wanted to give me a chance to make amends. And I believed her. For 70 years, I've crawled on my knees, shedding my blood for Mendev. Only been spat in the face for it. For 70 years, I watched generations of Crusaders grow old and die, never once changing their tune about Staunton the traitor. What else could I give for my mistake? What more punishment could I suffer? How, how could I ever deserve forgiveness? And one day, I realized there's nothing I can do. The Queen had doomed me to a lifetime of humiliation. And when I grew desperate, I only had two choices. To become my own executioner and carry out the sentence she rescinded that day, or go over to the other side. Put yourself in my place. Imagine yourself in that position. What would you choose? I don't know. I haven't had a particularly nice time either in the River City. First there was the fire. Then there were lots of other things. But I'm not angry at the people. I know they didn't do it out of malice. I am thoroughly sick of all this nonsense about good people. Does your charred little brain have any inkling of what's occurring around you? Allow me to enlighten you. The good person standing before you is personally responsible for the excruciating deaths of dozens of soldiers. The same soldiers for whom you claim to care so dearly. And you are still dim-witted enough to call him good? <laughs> Oh, girl, 
I should have followed your example dozens of years ago and found shelter in blissful madness. Maybe a feeble-minded beggar with no name and no memory would have been happier than the condemned traitor Staunton Vane. But now it's too late for that, too. You have no idea how tired I am of you, mortal. But never mind. Today, we will finally be done with you. Right, Staunton? Right, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I once heard a peasant trying to convince his sick sheep to overcome her constipation and share her impacted torrent of crap with the rest of the world. The sheep was obviously very dear to the peasant, and he cooed and called her lambkin and darling as he described the process in graphic detail, apparently to inspire the beast. Well, listening to that wasn't half as stomach-churning as listening to your filthy demon mouth spewing honeys and sweeties all over the place. Ugh. That's not your concern, mortal! The Master has punished her cruelly for her failure in Canabras. <laughs> as you can see, the leaders of the demons are as patient with their slaves as the Crusaders are with their commanders. Sweetie, why are you telling her this? What does it matter? What... Quiet. You think I'd miss the chance to see Staunton wipe that grin off your smug face? For years, you self-appointed champions of good have treated us like dirt beneath your feet! If the demons will help us get our revenge, then we're with the demons! Right. No point in wasting time talking. To arms! Staunton... darling... Stop whining! Didn't you swear your eternal love to me? Promised we'd rule Dresden together? Now shut your lying mouth and fight! Whatever end fate has in store for me, you will share it! Battle for me. Ah! Retreat is not an option!
Make every strike count. Kneel before me. No reason to pause. You stubborn ass! You want to die for a heap of rocks? Go ahead. I'm not staying here. No, my dear. You are. You will either fight to the bitter end, or I'll break your delicate little neck myself with these very hands. <laughs> Are you threatening me, my mortal toy? Me? And with what? With the power I gave you? You ungrateful beast! Give me back what's mine! Take him, he's yours! And Dresden too! I don't care about this fortress, or this half-wit. Oh, I grow so tired of you mortals! Your humdrum little passions, your constant squabbling, your incessant accusations and excuses! You treat each other like dirt, push weaklings like these two into our arms. And then you have the audacity to accuse us. Come on, punish your traitors. I've seen this show countless times. I will save myself. Take your filthy rag. Take your befouled ruins. You can make soup out of this moron for all I care. I've had enough war. We Lily two were created for tenderness and love. Stay away from me with your swords and shields. So this is to be my fate? I've been betrayed by people and demons alike. Now my life really is worth nothing. But that doesn't mean you won't pay for it dearly. Come on, you scumbag! Kill me if you can! I don't care anymore! I suspect you can, but I'll make you work for it. Let's get this over with. Two arms. This will be quick. <laughs> Too late for apologies. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Together we stand.
can't hide from me. Lead on! Open your heart to me. Rely on me. It is no trouble. We will win this war on my way. This is simple. The commander of the Crusade has managed to overthrow 70 years of demonic rule in Dresden and restored the Sword of Valor to its rightful place. Will the commander be able to defend the banner she has won with such a valiant effort? <laughs>